Distribution is pretty much related to binomial distribution. Now, the only thing that's different between geometric distribution and binomial distribution is condition number one. For binomial distribution, we know that there's a fixed number of trial, but in geometric, there's no fixed number of trial. And all the rest of the conditions are pretty much the same. So you, um, condition number two, there's still two possible outcomes, either success or failure. Tapos yung mga trials nyo will still be independent. At yung probability of success nyo should be consistent for every trial. Now, yung mga notation natin ngayon sa geometric distribution, we will only have x, P and Q. So, notice nyo na wala na tayong letter N. Dahil dyan, sa condition number 1, there's no more fixed number of trials sa geometric distribution. So, kapag ka naka-encounter kayo na isang experiment which involves geometric distribution, mapapansin nyo na wala ng N or number of trials doon sa given problem. So, this will be the formula in finding the probability of a geometric distribution. P times Q raised to X minus 1. Now, yung measures ng isang geometric distribution tulad ng binomial distribution, meron tayong mean, variance, and standard deviation. Kaso nga lang, yung formula natin will be different for this particular distribution. So, for mu of x, or yung mean ng geometric distribution, ang bago nating formula will be 1 over p. Ang variance nyo naman will be q all over p squared, at ang standard deviation nyo will be your square root of q all over pq. Now, Again, ang mean ng isang distribution can also be called as the expected value. Kaya kung alam niyo yung mean, dapat alam niyo yung expected value. Ito yung mga example experiment na kung saan yung geometric um, probability will, uh, will, will, be, will be true. Yung first example natin, flipping a coin until you get a tail. So, ano daw yung magiging probability nyo dito sa question na to? Para masagot yan, geometric random variable, geometric distribution yung gagamitin nating technique. So, number two naman, rolling a die until you get a two. At yung third will be attempt a three-point shot until making a basket. So, mapapansin nyo sa examples one, two, and three ko, wala kang fixed number of trial. Yung number one, mag-flip ka lang daw ng mag-flip ng coin hanggang makakuha ka ng tail. So, yung tail nyo, pwede unang flip nyo, tail agad. Or pwede rin naman yung... Uh, uh, person, yung second person mag-flip nung mag-flip nung mag-flip nung coin at hanggang maka 100 flips na siya, hindi pa rin siya nakakakuha ng tail. So yun, geometric um, experiment siya kasi walang fixed number of trial. Same thing with number 2 and number 3. Ang meron lang tayo dyan is yung probability of success at saka yung um, iba pang mga conditions dun sa geometric distribution. Now, to make it more understandable, meron tayong example number one. So example number one ko, suppose 3% of Mr. Dalton's computers is defective. What is the probability that Spencer will be assigned to the fifth computer which happens to be broken? So meron daw um, computers, sa, mga computers dun sa school ni Mr. Dalton at meron, ang 3% daw dun eh hindi gumagana. So ano ang probability na si Spencer ay eh, maa-assign doon sa pang limang computer na hindi naman nag-work. So, tulad ng ginawa natin sa previous lesson natin sa binomial, kailangan lang natin i-organize yung mga givens. So, meron tayong x, which is yung fifth computer. So, yung x natin will be 5. At yung probability of success natin dito will be 3% kasi yun yung alam natin uh, percentage ng mga broken computers. At yung probability of failure nyo will be 0.97. So, to use the formula p times q to the x minus 1. So, p is 0 0.03 times 0 0.97 raised to 4. And probability of x equal to 5 using the geometric random variable will be 0 0.0266. So, therefore, and probability that the fifth computer in Mr. Dalton's class is defective will be 2.66%. At yan yung paggamit ng geometric um, probability sa question na to. Kasi mapapansin nyo, wala tayong set number of computers na ginamit sa example number 1. Now, kung meron kayong TI-84, ang um, syntax sa pagkuha ng binomial distribution or binomial probability para hindi ka nagagamit ng formula manually will be binom PDF kasi equal sign siya 
P and X, or yung probability of success nyo, at saka yung number of success, which is 0 0.03 and 5, and it will give you the same result, 0 0.0266. Now, sa example number two, meron tayong tatlong sub-questions. So, yung example number two, 25% of women working in the outlet center have never been married. Suppose we randomly select women who are working in the outlet center. Paano natin masasagot si letter A, letter B, at letter C? For letter A, umpisahan natin sa what is the probability that the fourth woman we select says she's never been married. And in this particular geometric probability, it's going to be P equals X equal to 4. So, X equal to 4 siya kasi yung eksaktong pang-apat na babae daw na tatanungin natin at ang isasagot niya ay she's never been married will be this particular inequality. Kaya yung geometric PDF natin will be P and X. So, kung gagamitin natin yung TI-84, yung calculator, so, ang magkakaroon tayo na sagot na 0 0.1055. So, yan yung paggamit ng graphing calculator or TI-84 para makuha natin yung sagot for, excuse me, letter A. Now, for letter B, what is the probability that the first four women we ask say they have never been married? So, to illustrate letter B, halimbawa, nagtanong ka sa outlet center ng mga nagtat nagtatrabaho doon, yung una mong tinanong, sinabing, she's never been married. Yung pangalawa, she's never been married din daw. Pangatlo, parehas ng sagot. Pangapat, parehas pa rin ng sagot. So, paano or ano ang probability na mangyayari yung ganong sitwasyon? To use your calculator and your geometric probability, P of X will be less than or equal to 4. Kasi yan yung mga possible women na pag tinanong mo, ang isasagot sa'yo eh, she's never been married. So, using your calculator, we will now use Geomet CDF. So, hindi na siya yung PDF kasi inequality na yung symbol na ginagamit natin. So, yung Geomet CDF will be 0.25 and 4. And by using your calculator, it will give you 68.36%. So, ang probability na yung first four women na select natin at tatanungin dun sa outlet center, 68.36% ng probability na yun ay mangyayari. At yung pangatlong question, what is the expected number of women who have never been married working in the outlet center. So, ang tinatanong dito is expected number of women. So, ang uh, formula na gagamitin natin ngayon will be the mean of your geometric distribution. And to find the mean of the geometric distribution, it's 1 over P. So, your mu of x nyo will be 1 over P using the formula 1 over 0.25 is equal to four women. So to answer letter C, there will be four women in the outlet center that expected to be, uh, um, to have never been married in this particular example.